Comic Jumper video walkthrough for ArmageddonGaming.com. This is the X new Xbox Live arcade title from Twisted Pixel. All right. Uh, so this is just going to be a full walkthrough of the game. There's no collectibles. Uh, there's also achievement guides you can find on the website as well. Um, I'll be getting the Eugene's Protege achievement through this walkthrough, which is basically just to hit all the quick time events, and there's only about three of them. Uh, so this is basically the prologue of the game. Beating dudes up. Yeah, uh, so there's there's two different combat styles to this game. There's hand-to-hand -hand combat, as you can see here, uh, and there's gunplay. I'll talk about this style for now, um, because you can only do hand-to-hand -hand combat in the sections the game allows you to. Mm -hmm. uh, but basically, X, and I think right trigger, is do your standard attacks. A uh, is kind of like a attack to both sides that if you start getting surrounded will clear you out they give you the breathing room um, and when you get grappled just mash A or X and you'll get uh, for, you'll free yourself so now you're gonna be shooting around we're gonna get the achievement for killing so many Brad bots here because I'm actually recording this on a new profile so you'll see I guess when I get it you should be around getting it so you got blown out of one comic panel onto the uh, comic panel in the next page. Yeah, that's crazy. It is crazy. There's a section uh, in the next level, uh, or I think I think it's funny. It's just a little thing. Uh, the star on your chest. He goes, uh, like you're flying through the page because you kind of you got like blown up again. Mm -hmm. And he's like, turn in the page or something like that. And the co the two the banter between the two can always be amusing. Um. But yeah, I tried to cut out as many cutscenes as I can. You should really play this game. I will not be turning on the aim assist. And that's the achievement for killing so many Brad bots right there. So that's pretty much not missable. Yeah, it's not. Even though uh, you really only fight them in this part and the last section of the game. But you should definitely be able to get it here. Like, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to unless you literally run by everybody. Hey! What is that going on in the background? Yeah, in the background, you got the maw. There's plenty of cameos you'll be seeing. Holy shit! Um, there's. We also made a video for uh, the Unlockable Explosion Man level. Mm -hmm. The single player one so far. We'll probably go back and get the multiplayer one. Um, so you see that there's a few different kinds of robots and. Uh, their attack styles don't really differ through the game, it's just like their models do depending on the comic. Like in the next comic, you fight, uh, kind of, I don't know, you'll see, but it, it's not Brad bots, but they do the same thing where they, some will throw, like, dynamite or something like that, and it'll create flames that go out to both sides, just jump over it. Uh, some will always grapple on you, some will shoot at you. Uh, these are the ones that grapple at you. If you see these kind of bare ones, I, I mean, guess they don't. You really just got shot any that skin. one in the back. There's also uh, you've noticed that most of the game has respawning enemies if you move back. So try not to backtrack too much. Uh, you don't want to rush forward, but you don't want to take your time as much either. You got to move at a healthy pace. And another control that. You, it might take a while to get used to is if you press down on the left stick in A, uh, you'll do kind of a slide that lets you avoid most projectile attacks. And there's also these things called uh, reader bonuses, uh, where it'll be like, the readers do, don't want to see Captain Smiley get hit in this section, and stuff like that, and I'll, I'll be going for most of those. Are those so the same far. every time? Uh, it's mostly just not getting hit. They are in the same spots every time you play the game, though. And you can see your health in the top left corner. Along yeah. with, um... Your character model will actually turn into more of a sketch form. When you take too much damage. You can see I'm kind of getting there, but not quite. How do you get your health back? You don't. You die. Basically. Hmm. There's, there's not much um, penalty for dying, except you go back to the last checkpoint. And some of the checkpoints can be kind of far back. How do you know where they are? They just happen? They just happen. 
Like, you don't, it doesn't even say checkpoint. You just gotta find out by dying or not dying. Um, yeah. That's, that's the basics of the game. Here's a quick time event. Here's gonna be your first quick time event. Uh, the buttons for the quick time event are always the same, no matter how many times you play the game. So, while you're playing this, it'll be X, B, A, next one's Y, I think, and then the next one's A again. It seems like it's giving you a really generous window to press that button. Yeah, it's not rushed at all. Uh-oh, what's coming soon? Coming up is your first boss fight of the game. Most of these boss fights I have solid strategies for. So, that's the when you come up here, what you want to do is, his only attack is going to be that he'll shoot missiles down at you. The best way to avoid those is to shoot at him, but basically stand under him because he'll shoot his missile straight down and it allows you to kind of run to the side and maybe jump over the ones that don't crash into the ground. Alright, so you're locked into this frame? Yeah. And that's his health up there in the top right? Yep. So you can see he's kind of shooting them straight down, uh, but if once you start running to the side they kind of follow you. Uh, just do your best to uh, stand under him for as long as you can. And then when it goes into this little perspective type view, hide behind one of these air conditioning vents. And the missiles will just hit it and that'll come back. Uh, you'll the boss fight usually goes for two of those you'll usually do two or three of those for this boss fight. I think it's mostly two. And then he'll fly across the screen like this, and that when he does this he won't do nothing, so that's your time to just unload on him. I should mention to shoot, I don't think I mentioned this yet, you actually have to aim you, the way you want to shoot in the direction with the right thumbstick and then just hold R or X. I usually hold R for shooting, it's just easier and more natural. Now you gotta hide behind this. You can see this little wave move I do here, like that. That's You're doing that? Yeah, I'm doing that. I don't know what significance it has, but that's just something you do. You do that by pressing the right trigger. Where'd you learn to shoot? Wow, so the star and Captain Smiley are just talking trash while you're in the boss fight. Yeah, like, you really gotta listen to this game. Like, the banter between the two and even other stuff. This, there's hardly a serious moment in this game. I think I mentioned that in my review. I believe you said it in exactly those words. <laughs> well, it must be that true then. Super true. Uh, so boss fight's done, but the level's not. We still got a little over half the level, a little less than half the level. I'm sorry. All right, so this is the prologue that opens up the rest of the game. Basically, um, if you stop playing, the thing about this game is, if you stop playing in the middle of the level, you'll have to start that level over again. Right. So uh, that twisted pixel menu, that's like the beginning of the game when you press start. Yeah, you press start. You jump the game right starts. in. Okay. Uh, the thing is, um, if you stop in the middle of this prologue level. It'll when you load up the game again, it'll bring you right back to the title screen, and it'll just it'll be the same thing. You'll press start and go right into it again. But after you beat this level, it kind of unlocks a hub world for you, and after that, you can just uh, press start and exit the game, or you can even press start and go to the hub world. And every time you load up the game, you'll end up back in the hub world. You can continue playing the game after you've beaten it, which is a good thing. You don't lose any of your upgrades. I'll be showing what upgrades I get as well. And if you need money for upgrades that for some reason you may not have that I do, uh, just do a few challenges. Doing the challenges is a crazy easy way to get upgrades. I won't be doing it to get extra money. Uh, but that's so you're, you're just going to use whatever you get through the missions to do your upgrades? Yeah, because I don't really expect people to be... Uh, right, so you could conceivably just grind out challenges for a... Uh... Yeah, basically. Like some challenges take like a minute and you'll get a thousand dollars for them. Well, that's an awful lot of bribe bots you're dealing with right now. Yeah, one thing you really want to watch out for is to not get uh, surrounded. So if you notice a bunch of them coming from one side and maybe a few coming from the other side, do your best to jump on the other side of them so they're all facing one side of you and then you can just hold the shoot button down and take them all out. Uh, this is also them? a strategy used for zombies. Yeah, basically. You can see I'm kind of doing that now. Man, that kid is ugly. What is that billboard trying to say? 
<laughs> the, uh, that's the, funny. The star is crazy. That's really cool. true. The laser the background attack, school photos are child. It, it actually, <laughs> they count it. I don't want to say cheating, but they look down on it if you use it, and you actually get less of a score if you use it. But it's pretty awesome what it actually is. I'm not going to spoil that. I think this is the section where you are, where they introduce it to you. So this is a section where you can't leave this frame until you kill everybody. Uh, they're gonna come out in the same pattern every time. Like every time a new wave of them comes out, it's gonna be the same. So it's just if it takes you a few shots, just try to memorize where they're coming from so you know where to shoot at. And there's just some situations where you're gonna have to take a hit. Uh, just go for the least hits possible. See, so yeah, I tried doing that little sliding move. And we're almost actually at the end of the level. There's one more pretty cool sequence coming up. And then uh, there is an achievement in this level that you can miss. Uh, but I did make a video for it. It's called Shut Up Star or Star Shut Up or something like that. What, do you have to punch it? You gotta punch it. And it's definitely missable. I missed it my first time through. How do you punch the star on your chest? You will, uh, if you watch the achievement video, you'll see. But basically, uh... There's two sections in the entire game when the star will actually bite your finger. <laughs> okay. Like, one section he tells you like he's sick and he wants to throw up, and after he talks you into it, he's like, stick your stick your finger down my throat, and you go to do it and he bites you, and then you gotta you just keep punching him. I uh, basically oh. just keep pressing X when he's doing that to punch him, and after you do it like 15 times, uh, you get the achievement. But it is definitely missable, so I made a video on it. Another video you can check what out. What the hell? This game is ridiculous. <laughs> More of the climbing in the pipes. They were supposed to have this construction finished months ago. Quit whining and climb, pansy boy. Climb! Damn. That star is the best. That star is pretty, uh, pretty rough to, on Captain Smiley. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we're almost done this level. Uh, there's just that one more section coming up. Uh, you'll see it after we get off these pipes. It's uh, another kind of 3D area, but you'll see in a minute. Basically, it just just like the rest of the game, it's shoot everything. So, how often does the perspective like change on you? Enough. To where it doesn't feel like it's overdone. Okay. It's it's basically about. Oh, here's the the perspective thing. Uh, basically, you just gotta shoot Brad's helicopter when you can, and make sure you don't. You gotta shoot the Brad bots that are falling on you so they don't hit you. But that's this is the last section of this level. Um, after the sections, we can get that shut up star achievement. Uh, but I'll see you in the next level.